Jai, you talk about that, that women are important for this new yeah. tech decade, yeah. right? Now, why? What is so important to have women in the technology space for all of us? So, just taking a step back, yeah. if you know, if you've So if you're going to any conversation in Davos, the one thing you will hear about is supply chain resilience, mm -hmm. right? Everyone's talking yeah. about supply chain resilience yeah. and why it's so critical for business continuity and growth. One of the things that's badly broken in, in the supply chain um, value chain is uh, talent. Your talent supply chain is one of the biggest challenges today that CEOs are facing yeah. because of, especially in tech, mm. because of global shortage. And every business today is tech. Every business today yeah. is digital. Hers is, hers is, yeah. right? So everybody is facing that challenge. I believe that um, women are the answer to bridging that gap to a very large extent. And... Today, the most important tech skill is not learning about AI. You can't, first of all, learn about yeah. AI. You have to do AI. You have to build AI, right? It's not learning about technologies. The most important tech skills are cognitive skills, analytical skills, creative skills. And women, I will say so, are slightly better placed <laughs> when it comes to these skills. They are. It's just intuitive. It's mm -hmm. organic. Uh, That's one reason why in our industry, at hiring, women are 52% plus, mm. right? And then it becomes, the average goes to around 36%. But this is the reason we need more women desperately, because these are the skills we have to build into the workplace. So you say the fact that women have the ability to have uh, multitask and have multidisciplinary intelligence helps in technology they they are women are great at problem solving mm. i think problem solving is very natural to a woman mm. and that's what we need right now women are also good at learning they can throughout their lives they're learning to adapt they're learning new things they're learning new skills so they are much better at learning unlearning and learning and these are the skills the most important skills of today is the ability to learn and the ability to problem solve, the, and that's where cognitive and analytic, uh, analytics comes in. We're going to come into AI, but I think, Dipali, you want to jump in. You, you have something you want to add to this. No, I totally agree with that. And I think um, uh, women tend to be better at it. Um, even, I, I'll tell you one thing for me, it's about the threads and it's about the warp and the weft and the spinning and the weaving and uh, about the design thinking as well. I think everywhere, and, uh, and I, you know, the cognitive skills, as you rightly said, I think for me, for textiles, it is far more relevant than anything yeah. else. Whether you're looking at the trends on the runway to looking at what the consumer experience is going to be or whether you're running the factory and your machines or upskilling them, you know, for the technology and industry 4.0. I think they are fast learners. And I think, um, and you know, Devjani, the important thing that you spoke about was skilling. When you're talking about this 1.4 billion, you know, kind of people in India, I think, and the way we are ramping up for manufacturing, it's not going to be technology alone, it's going to be manufacturing. Skilling is going to be a very critical um, yeah. uh, a bit. So yeah. I think that's going to be a very, very important way of looking and growing India as a country. Yeah. So, Devjani, For you, actually, you in one person are all the buzzwords of 2024. Woman. Okay. AI. Okay. India. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am the buzzword. I'm just waiting. Okay, what's going to come next? <laughs> no. So I want to get back a little bit to technology and AI, right? One of the problems that we are hearing about yeah. is that in AI, the data sets that have been used are not inclusive. And so there is a bias against women in those data sets. Now, what is it that we can do to correct that? And is it too late already? AI is very nascent. Let's okay. all be very clear about that. The race to AI has just about begun. The narrative has hyped up tremendously. But when you look at deployment of AI at scale, it's still work in progress. Okay. It's, it still hasn't happened. And I think if 2023 was the peak of AI hype, I hope 2024 will be the valley of reality where we finally come back to what the real problem is. Where's the promise of AI? What do we have to do to unlock it, right? Now, talking about AI and bias, um, if you ask me to show, you know, how do we get bias out of AI? My question is, how do we get bias out of human beings? Every human being has bias. All of us have, right? It's wired, hardwired into us. And we have to stop 
forgetting that humans have a huge role in shaping AI. AI is not shaping itself as yet mm-hmm. and will not for a very long time to come. There's a very big debate on that, yeah. but this there panel is, is not there on is, AI, but so we can look, go back to Look at one. the data, right? Yeah. Humans are shaping AI today, and humans are shaping the AI narrative. We have to bring back the accountability on humans. It's our job to ensure we shape it right. Right.